Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. We are getting back into some more Halo 3 ODST. So picking up from the last part, we had some really good levels, I thought. Really interesting kind of set pieces. Um, and, but I think the biggest thing about it was that our squad has finally now regrouped. So we had kind of our two separate groups of guys. We had Dutch and Mickey, and then we had Buck and Romeo. And all of them have kind of reconverged on that, that helipad at the end of the last part. Now, of course... Uh, Romeo got injured in that. I don't know what's gonna kind of come from that now. I don't know if he's if he's intending to make it or what exactly is gonna happen with that. But now they've got to extract from the city, which is all well and good. And I figured that was kind of the point of the plot, you know, moving up to this point. The only thing that concerns me a little bit though is, is how the rookie is gonna play into this because he hasn't been around anything really. He's going through the city at night here, you know, however many hours later. Uh, you know, past the events that we're playing through with our squad members. And I, I really like the squad members, but I, I, I'm a little bit concerned that what's going to end up happening is, is they're going to leave. They're going to succeed in the mission and, and getting extracted uh, from the city. But then the rookie is going to stay behind or he's not going to make it or something that's like that. So I'm a little bit concerned about what's going to happen uh, as far as we're concerned there. Uh, now, with that being said, too, with the gameplay kind of part of it, I don't know if once the squad members leave or, or what that kind of looks like, what's going to happen with the rookie and kind of how those gameplay parts are going to look. Because I actually really like the setup of the story so far with this kind of uh, double-sided way that it's telling it, right? Where you have the rookie and he's got these different sorts of levels. It's a very interesting way of playing it. And then you have these more kind of action-heavy, um, you know, character-driven missions with the rest of the squad. But with those other guys gone, then, I don't know what it's going to be like if we're just playing as the rookie alone in the city. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's jump into it. Alright, so let's see. Where where are we at? Where are we pick? So this, this was the this was the thing with the sniper rifle and all that. Oh, I, okay. Already taken fire. Um, what was my... There we go. Right off the bat, we have... I, I'm just... I'm listening to the music here, and it's really good. This is a very different feel to it, I, I think, from the rest of the games. There's something really, like, somber about this. I don't know. Do you have a new one? Can I take yours? I guess not. All right. You know, in, in looking back at some of my playthroughs for this, I, I gotta say, the thing I th I appreciate the most about the way it handles this setup in ODST here, so I talked a, a little bit about this in my intro and other parts, is the kind of that dual perspective idea that I like in games, where it, it kind of swaps back and forth, and, you know, each side has a different way of telling the story or kind of having things in the gameplay. What I appreciate about that specifically regarding the rookies missions is that i could see where in in large dosages that this would not be as good i wouldn't appreciate it as much basically like being in this kind of environment being in this this having this isolated feeling the kind of the somber tones of this is fucking wonderful it's really good and it's very different from the rest of the halo games so far what I appreciate about it, though, is that it knows when to move on. And I said this, I think, in a previous part. This, the pacing of this game is phenomenal. It knows, it has a great way of telling things and showing things, but it also knows when, it's, when that's enough. It's time to move on to the next thing. Um, I really appreciate that, actually. I, I don't think that's something that is noticed enough in, in some games. And I haven't had a problem with this in Halo thus far. Don't don't be don't be mistaken about my my 
you know, observation here. This is not a criticism of the rest of the games. I just happened to notice this more in ODST. Um, and I think it's because of that dual perspective where it just has a good way of moving things along. It has a good way of telling the story. Um, okay, here, I'm getting close to my, my beacon here. Hey. Relax. All right, so well, the last one I had to look up, I had to keep an eye out for there. Let's see. Oh, okay, not too far. There you are. Biofoam canister. How bad? Not good. Right, and that was Romeo. Get you out of okay. Here? Okay, here we go. Now we're back with Buck then. Five hours after drop. Well, this is getting close then because the rookie was six hours. So he, he just missed him then. He, he missed him by an hour. Interesting. Well, Put me down. Put me down for a sec. Oh. Dutch, medkit. What's wrong with him? He's got a punctured lung. Oh. Jesus. Better? Now no, what? Trains ran underground up to the old city. We're going to find one of the tunnels. Walk on out of here. All right. Okay. You're going to carry me all the way, sweetheart. I was planning on it, but now that you're feeling better. Get the door. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, don't throw that away. That might be useful. Okay, well, he's he better, but he doesn't look like he's still in top form. <laughs> this means we're screwed, right? Not yet. I don't get it. The train doesn't work then? Right here. We're going to steal that ride. Oh. Now's our chance. Mickey, you're with me. <laughs> Why is he like, why do I gotta go? Gun Come on, you pansy. It's been years since I even ran a simulation. Well, let's see what you remember, Trooper. Move. Change your mind. I love it. All right, where are we going? There we're going. That, I I swear to God, I can't I can't praise that feature enough. And the thing of it is, is like I said in the other part, like it's not a question of I can't find my way eventually, because I can. I'm not a fucking idiot. But for the sake of expediency, like I don't want to sit here and like wander around until I find the right way to go per se, because I'm a, on a little bit of a timeline here. Uh, by the, by the very nature of recording is that like, I don't want the video to last however long. And I understand I could cut some shit, but then it's kind of that decision making process of what do I want to leave in? What do I want to take out? Uh, yeah. If I can avoid it by the, by the simple act of just pressing a button and making a waypoint to me, that is far easier 
than any of that other extra process. And it helps with the pacing of the game, which goes back to my original discussion. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Oh, shit. Oh, this doesn't... That's not very good against them, though. Fucking hell. All right. Go get him, Mickey. God damn it. <laughs> okay, there's spares. Ah, <laughs> oh, you idiot. Alright, now does this work the same? How do I... Okay, I don't remember... Alright, whatever. All right, I'm following you. Well, this is fun. This is different. I, I kind of... This is an interesting way of having this go down. I don't know. I do think it plays into the, you know, the ODSTs, our elite soldiers kind of business too, because this does remind me of something that the chief would do. Uh, but we're just kind of regular, like we're regular guys, but then we're also more than your standard Marines. Like here we are, you know, it's like a special ops unit. Let's hijack their, their equipment and use it against them kind of business. I like that. That's an interesting way of showing it. Interesting way of showing that the ODSTs mean business. Oh, except not me. Hang on a second. <laughs> Oh, you thought you were clever with that, huh? You're sneaking up on me like that. Got him. Cue to fire the Banshee the bomb. Take him out. Oh, was that was that like a rocket then? It's like one of those that they got. Oh, I'm never hitting that though. Damn, that's not, that's, that's not easy to hit. There we go. Okay. That works pretty well for the ground troops, though. Alright. Is that... Is this... The way to go? Head through the tunnel, Gunny. Okay. Go on, Gunny. Take the lead. Oh, see, I see your tricks. Yeah, go take the lead, Buck. We'll hang back. Wink, wink. Okay. 
Oh, I'm losing my wings. All right, to their credit, they're actually following me. That's a nice change of pace. They're not just hanging back. Uh, I am probably going to need a new vehicle, though. I think this one is losing, uh, losing its capacity here. There's a new one. Let me go. All right. How do I get out of this one? There we go. Please set a beacon. You know what? And real quick before I forget here, let me get the subtitles. All right, that should be better. Doors open. I'll go first. Where are you going? Hey, quit flying around. There we go. <laughs> Alright, there's a spare banshee just in case. Oh, come on. Where, where's the, where are my, my squad members? Hey, get your asses in here. Let's go. Press, what? What the fuck does that mean? Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, do I have to destroy this thing? Is that the what they're getting at here? Oh, maybe not. Okay. What what is that there? What the hell is that? Oh, god damn it. Fly up, idiot. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. What what's taking you so long here over here? Get your asses in action. Let's go. Am I missing something here? All right. Mulligan. Something didn't seem right there. Oh, that really didn't seem right there. All right, well, in my haste, I, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Whoops, that's my bad. Anyways. All right, so what was the fucking problem here, then? Why couldn't we, why couldn't we move along?
Alright. What the hell is it? What? They just, they just flew away. What happened there? Did I ever figure out what the fuck these things are? It's like, it's, it looks like it's an alien, but it's not quite. And they explode. Jesus. Okay. Alright. Are we good to fly through this now? Or are we going to get messed up again? Oh, shit. I forgot about that one. Okay. Now it went. Yeah. I could see I could see where that would be the problem there. Ah oh, shit, I can't get up there though. Alright. There we are. All right, watch out. Take cover. There we go. Oh, that's no good. Hang on a second. Evasive maneuvers. What was the button again? <laughs> there we go. All right. What was what? What would what'd you say? There we are. Okay. Damn, door's jammed. Must have lost power. Oh, come on. I'll head through on foot. See if I can find a workaround inside the tunnel. Ah, uh, fine. Can somebody, like... Why is it just gotta be me in this instance? I was about to say, this level opened up pretty well, but the novelty of this being in the banshee shit basically by myself is is wearing off it's wearing thin i think it's just the vehicle section i think that's just what it, what irks me about it so i can't fault it too much it's not that bad but i don't really feel like i'm with my squad you know what i mean and that was kind of what i was excited for with the last part everybody kind of regrouping finally and now we're not not really doing that, you know? Because it's kind of just me. Alright, I'm in need of a health pack here. Hey! Oh. Where was that? Give me that shit. Oh, crap. Not one of these things. Oh. Isn't that... That's the in invincibility? Oh, that doesn't go away either. There we are. Can I get that? Nice. I can taste him already. 
the fuck is wrong with you? Alright. Where's the... I need the kiosk. <laughs> Where is it? In fact, where am I going in general here? Alright. There's one. Okay. So, do I... Should I go back and get my banshees? Or... I see a couple over here. Why don't I just... Troopers, I got bad news. Alright. You really are gonna make us walk out of this city? We got a scarab right by our exit. Ah. This is the best mission ever. <laughs> Alright, excuse me fellas, I gotta I gotta commandeer your vehicle here. Evade or destroy the scarab. Uh well how do I evade it? How does that work? Knock out its legs and it'll stop moving, Gunny. Sure. All right, is it the same thing I got to get on it though? Does it is that still the strategy? Let's try it. Sure it is. All right, quickly get out of my way. <laughs> get to the banshee. Oh, fly away. Ooh, ah. How come I had to do all the fucking work there, by the way? Once again, it falls to me. I gotta take it, take down the leg, hijack the scarab, blow the scarab up, and make my sweet, awesome escape. Come on, now. Come on, you couldn't pick your boy up? Oh, Jesus. Okay, relax. Now what? All right, better better grab a new one here. All right. Hmm? Stay clear. This is going to be one hell of a chain reaction. These things? Oh. Oh. Okay then. Nice. Oh, that's ambitious. I wouldn't trust myself with that at all. <laughs> well, why not stay in the Banshee? Then you can... There's some maneuverability there. Now we're all sitting ducks, steady, no? steady, Mickey. You doing okay? Just glad we didn't go with your first plan. Look at those tunnels. Ones that aren't flooded are probably packed with buggers. Hell, I wouldn't go down there even if you ordered me to. Come on, Mark. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck? Call me Captain. Mickey, turn around. Find a safe place to set us down. What? Why? I lost something. Now I know where to find her. Wait, what? I thought the... I didn't think that the Captain was alive. Is that... Is that what you're telling me now? All right, look, it wasn't confirmed, right? I just figured that the monster at the beginning, because they, they keep, they kind of keep yapping about eating people. So I figured that's what happened. But, oh, fucking no. Who cares? <laughs> Can 
I'll find out soon. Oh, there she is, for fuck's sake. I was about to say, I'll find out soon enough. <laughs> As I speak. Okay. Interesting. Uh, now I gotta get to that point, though. Where am I, uh... Alright. Locate entrance to the city underground. Oh, that's not actually the way, okay. Hey! Just walk away, I don't mean you any harm. Oh, jeez. Shit, I, you'd think I would be getting the, the neck with it there, but I just, I'm just missing or something. Oh, I keep fucking missing. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> it was just a prank, dude. Just, we good? We chill? Please tell me this is the right way. <laughs> I don't want to go back that way. Oh, I wouldn't. Uh, oh, no. I see the wheels turning in the rookie's head already. Okay. Good luck with that one, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. That's seven of them right there. So, this is interesting. We, we it's, it's too rookie. Now, the last little bit there doesn't really count as a level because it was so short, but, like, it's two rookie levels back-to-back -back now. So, now we're picking... Oh, are we, have we caught up? Because we've been doing the flashbacks, right? So now we're, we're, you know, back on the, on the right timeline, as it were. What are these grunts yapping about? Shut up. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, man. Oh? Sure enough, okay. What a strange location. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need... Oh, I don't want that, though. Sure. Better than nothing. But not by much. You know, it's a little bit interesting to me. So, in, in playing ODST, 
and speci- I think specifically the rookie levels, there's a certain futuristic element to it. Like, the thing with Halo 2 originally, because this, this takes place during Halo 2 and 3, right? Like, this is the setting from the Halo 2 city levels, is that this this city feels so much more futuristic. And I actually like the Halo, the Halo 2 missions, but comparing this to Halo 2 and 3... This feels much more in the future like it actually is. I, I noticed with Halo 3 especially, and even in some ways Halo 2 there, that it was in the future and it was it felt plausible in that way because this is supposed to take place in East Africa. But in general, it didn't feel like amazingly high tech. This kind of looks like it. It's just interesting in that way. There's a lot of gadgets and gizmos going on. Um, and it's not necessarily about the location per se. It's not the, in, in this case, it's not the East Africa part that surprises me. It's just in general, it's like, wow, look at what all this is. What, what is, it's, is that, is that cop or is it, oh, well, how'd that work out for you, you dumb fucks? <laughs> Get out of my way. Oh. Thanks, Trooper. They almost had me. Well, you're welcome. Been trying to get down to the next level, checking my team, but this stack is locked down tight. What? Welcome. Access granted. Huh. I guess you have the magic touch. I hear that a lot, actually. Oh, I don't really have a good weapon for this one, though. Shit. Hey, quit moving around. What's wrong with you, Virgil? You trying to get me killed? Warning, hitchhikers may be escaped convicts. What? Oh, come on. Ow. All right. Give me that. Can't see a damn thing. You go first. Oh, okay. Candy ass, I'll go first, son. Uh, here. All right. Fair enough. I got the I got the the night vision. You know what, Mr. Cop, I apologize. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, interesting. He's got the outline there. Well, I'll probably want this thing given where we're at. That's all right. We all got secrets. I don't know why I'm down here, and even if I even if I did, I can't tell you. I'm not a speaking protagonist. Eyes on the enemy. That was that was the most surprised reaction I've ever seen out of an I, I can't even replicate the sound. I don't even know how. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Come on, I gotta do all the work here. Nicely done. All right. Well, at least he compliments me. Okay, is this is this the same thing? No, here we go. Right? Yeah. All right, so we got it. Uh, so this is we're on sub level eight then. Jesus, I'm fucking good. Oh, 
Hey, you can have that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, careful. I see a, I see that's a trap right there. Hey. Well, thank you. Oh, God damn it. The stupid. Uh, it's, what happened there? I wasn't aiming that at all. Huh? Oh, good lord. Down to level nine too. Guess I could use some backup. Yeah, why are you going down the to level nine though? Should I be cautious of this individual? Oh god damn it. Alright, now what? This shotgun was a good pickup. This is this is a lot this is a lot more helpful I think than what was going on before. Only thing is is when the when the when the bugs show up, I, the carbine's good, but it's, I don't think it's very good versus them. They move too fast for it. I can't get a good shot. There we go. Ooh, I wonder, what's that look like without that? Oh, it's almost bright enough without it now. Oh, <laughs> what happened? He just fucking threw him against the wall. No, we don't. They ain't got shit. What? Okay. Virgil, you hear me? Icy conditions. Change required. Freaking machine. What? The whole city's gone to hell. Wait here. Watch for hostiles. I'll be back. What are you, stupid? I told you to stay outside. Okay. Step away from there. This ain't none of your business. Kinsler gave me real specific instructions. Make sure the doc's dead and make double sure no one knows about it. Caution, traveler, caution. Sorry, friend. You know way too much. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, okay. All right, hang on a second. Let me, let me get my bearings here. <clears throat> so, with all the shit that's going down. Now, I don't know what that was about. I don't even think I give a shit. Given the circumstances, we, I, I think it's reasonable to assume we need each other alive to get through whatever this is. If you want to go on your merry way after you've, you know, confirmed whatever that was, fine. I'll leave you fucking be. What do I care? I'm here for something else. Also, the fucking world is ending. Do I do? Do you really think I? Can? I don't even know what it is, but obviously, whatever it is, the person's already dead. Not my business. Not my mission. I don't give a shit. With all that being said, to get out of here against the hordes of the Covenant, the aliens who are going to kill you, eat you, whatever it is. Do you think that maybe? In the short term, might be more useful to just let bygones be bygones and just not turn on me. 
And what's the end result? Guess what? Spoiler alert, I'm gonna fucking win, okay? <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, f uh, fuck you. In fact, you got your... Where's your shotgun? Give me your ammo. Alright. Okay. Whatever. Uh, just back on task. To find the captain. Now I need a health pack. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you should have. I still don't know why we're here, other than, I guess, rescuing you? Maybe? Oh, come on. Shit. Oh, they're swarming me. Welcome. Access granted. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Uh, now, uh, here's the thing. I'm sure I missed something. I'm sure I did. There has to be a reason for that. That was too specific and too scripted to just come out of nowhere it was really cool i don't get it and obviously i have my own opinions on it but uh very very interesting it makes me it makes me wonder a little bit what where where where'd that come from <laughs> knock on the door is this it hello is anyone home uh-huh I thought... Never mind. What was your name again? Inside. Now. Okay. This way and stay quiet. Some idiots blew the building at the top of the shaft. Woke the whole hive. Oh. Down there... <laughs> Was that us? <laughs> That's the superintendent, the AI that runs every system in the city. My mission, our mission, is to secure the superintendent's data. Problem is, okay. there's only one way in from here, right through the hive. What's the sense in that, though? Well, so this was the whole point, so... To go alone, and I was hoping for more backup. But I guess you're it. You've been solo since we dropped. Fighting on the surface? Unless you spent all night hiding in your pod, you must know your stuff. Show me. Hmm. Okay. All right. No offense, Captain, but you're going to want something. <laughs> I think you're going to want more than that pistol. Trust me. I, I, I've been through this, this shit before. So, Company. well, here's, here's what I'm wondering about. So I thought, I figured the whole point was to, when we were, when we were loading into the mission at the beginning, the beginning of the game, uh, the whole point of the drop pods and all that kind of shit was to get onto the carrier. And just as a consequence, we missed it and the whole, and now the, the mission was to, just get out because we failed the original part, which was to get on the carrier, right? But now, the, now Dare is saying that the the we're supposed to get to this superintendent thing and get the data, which okay, fine. Uh, so was that the point? So were we supposed to miss the carrier to begin with, or was it just it was just 
circumstance that it looked like that or I got I got some questions. It's fine. Like it's fine if this is the original point. I don't know what's so fucking important about the city's data that we got to be the ones to do it. But it just it was so it was it just by by sheer completely you know unfortunate luck that we went down to get this data at the exact time that it that the, that the ship whatever blew up the city or you know what i mean because that's unbelievably shitty luck <laughs> if that's the case and the whole this whole process the whole game could have been avoided <laughs> if we just if we just left like 10 minutes later or 10 minutes earlier <laughs> All right, can I borrow that? Thank you. All right, slow down, Captain. We'll have to jump. What? Oh, are you sure? Oh, fuck. There go my ankles. Okay. Oh, this is pretty good. I like this one. Okay, that's all well and good. It's getting warmer. We must be right under the hive. Head across the bridge. Let's see if what is that? What? I don't know, guys. I like it. This is I like I like having a squad member. It's not what I was expecting. See, I figured, especially with the last level, that that would be one of the more interesting parts of the game was when we all finally kind of regrouped. But then it was just it was like a vehicle mission. It, it just it didn't play as I was expecting. It wasn't bad. It just it wasn't really what I wanted. In a way, this is almost more what I had in mind, although it's just the two of us. We've kind of seen this before, because like I said, with the other missions, back before everybody, all the other squad members regrouped, it was it was two and two. Um, which was good. This is just more the same of that. I, I was expecting every you know, the whole squad. Um, but this is fine. I think this is an interesting level. There's some shit I don't really... No, so... Yeah, this is way better. This is the way to go. This is really good against them. Oh, oh god. Is this like, is this... Is this shit that they've made? I thought this was just a big cavern. Oh, disgusting. It's like a giant beehive. We can't go back. We have to keep pushing through. Ugh. What, what fascinating creatures. I just I just Good shooting trooper. Keep it up. We're almost there. Well, thank you. I I appreciate that. Oh jeez. Careful now. There's a there's a don't don't slip up there. All right, I'm going to follow you. Follow me. I see a way across. 
Excuse me. Oh, ew, I don't want that. Rescue the superintendent, okay. What do you mean rescue? What? Ooh, look at that. Won't be long before they smash through that door. Let's take them out now. Okay. Oh, what the what? Well, it bounced off his head. What the hell was that? Oh shit. Yeah, go after the captain. Leave me alone. Oh Jesus. You do know your stuff. I do. Speaking of which, all right. All right. This is this is weird. Okay. All right. So there's what the data banks there then. Ah, sure enough. We've seen them before on other ops, but we've never gotten this close. Best we can tell, they're prisoners or slaves. Either way, they don't like the Covenant any more than we do. The slip space event fried most of the superintendent's circuits. And I thought it might be trying to finish the job. But now I see you weren't trying to hurt the superintendent. You were trying to fix it. Oni calls them engineers. Believes they're some sort of biological supercomputers. If I'm right, this one has taken the superintendent's data and combined it with its own. Everything we want to know about the Covenant, what they're looking for under the city, is right in here. Damn! Buggers must have raised the alarm. Center, but we're coming out. We? No time to explain, but do not, I repeat, do not shoot anything pink. Whatever you say, come on! Those brutes are here for the engineer. They'll kill it if they get the chance. You, stay behind me, okay? Oh my god, it's so fucking adorable. <laughs> what? So it's not well. So okay. So they it's called the engineer. The engineer still has shields, but they won't last long in a firefight. So when I was shooting these things, it um. Take point. Clear a path to Buck. I I wondered about it when we first saw it because it was like it looked like it was biological, but then it was like it was part machine. So this the, but this one is just this one looks like it's just the way that it is. There's no. There's no metal or anything on it. Uh, oh, it's like a jellyfish or something. It's just, it's just with the shit they come up with, man. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's awesome. You're fucking adorable, Virgil. <laughs> All right. That. So okay. Interesting. 
what I don't, what I, I do wonder a little bit about though is, um, the the whole they don't like the covenant any more than we do business. Um, because she was saying, oh shit. She was saying that the that the uh, the engineers are like slaves or something. So like, but well, I just don't understand why. Oh brother, you can't be flying over there. It's dying. No shit. Look at where it's going. All right. Well, I don't know about that. It's, you you got to not run right into the middle of all of them here. Mr. Virgil. Hey. Quit moving around. I could use a hand over here. Come on. I got gotcha. you. Hi, Buck. It's good to see you. I need some ammo, though. I need something. Exit, Head through the door. Sure. Oh, Jesus. About this, uh, asset. Feel free to fill me in whenever. Not now, Buck. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. God oh, damn it. I was hoping we could sneak past them, but somebody woke these things up. I don't even have my machine gun anymore now. Okay. Oh. Why am I, am I glowing? Is this, do, is it, it's giving me invincibility? Cause now it's not. And then now it is. So is it? Is it like when you're in a fight or how does it work then? Okay, it's a distance thing. Door's locked. Damn. Don't worry. We have a key. <laughs> it's just it's just so cute. <laughs> oh no, is this one of those things I gotta things today? Why is this one so important? This engineer knows what the covenant's after. If I could safely capture more of them, I would. What they know could win the war. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no, Buck. What am I supposed to know? Yeah, well, that's my bad. I'm com I'm complicit in this. I've I've probably slaughtered a handful of them. <laughs> God damn it. All right, so now what? We got to go all the all the substations or sub levels back up, or what? Elevator, come on! Oh, thank God! No? Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Why don't we leave it there? Cause this is already an hour. I don't know how long this is gonna go with this. Lord, that thing stinks. Kind of reminds me of like after this, for? after this cutscene. Abandoning the mission. What? what mission? You dropped off the grid. My squad was scattered. <clears throat> and that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> you did good, rookie. No doubt. All right, now we're gonna leave it there. We're not out of this. So, that's uh, that's a lot of stuff happening. That's different. Now, as far as this part goes, here's here's kind of 
here's what I think about it. So, like, with the first level there being in the Banshee and stuff like that, um, I'm going to be honest, it was, it was not bad. It was just not what I was expecting. It was a little bit of a letdown in the sense that I was hoping that there would be more um, kind of fighting on the ground with the squad and stuff like that. And it's not like there wasn't, you know, interactions and stuff like that. It wasn't like there was dialogue and communication, you know, the squad playing off of each other in, in, in a way. Um, that's good. That's the stuff that I like about the game. It's just, it wasn't in a gameplay perspective. It wasn't really what I was thinking. And I can kind of see why, admittedly, with the whole Romeo's injured thing that they don't want to make it, you know, so he's fighting in a, in a level. Because that in and of itself might be a little bit implausible. I get it. Uh, doesn't mean I like it. I mean, it just, I, I just, I wanted more for it. But it wasn't bad. It still had some of the things that I like about it. It just, I don't know. I figured with the squad finally be re, being reunited that we would see some of that. Now, I will say for this last level then, where we're finding the captain and stuff like that, that was fucking fantastic. Um really a lot of interesting stuff the design of it was okay but really it's kind of the story and the character stuff which again i just i think is the best part of the game and it was just more of it it was just more of it in every way and we have a little bit of the regrouping between you know the rookie and buck and and the captain now and then there's then there's the engineer <laughs> which is the best part of it all frankly and, it, and it's not even it doesn't even speak it's just kind of it just floats there and looks adorable <laughs> so um now with that with that kind of being over now and getting out of so i assume now we're back to kind of what i i assumed was the original intention of the story which is to get out of the city um the the objective it flipped there because you know, we had, I guess the point of the whole thing was that we had to go after the superintendent, which the engineer is, or it has, it, no, it has the data. So it like, it is the superintendent because it took the data from the, the data drives or whatever it is. The point is, is that we got what we came for and now we need to leave. So now we're back to what I assumed the mission or originally was, which is regroup with the squad and get the fuck out. Um... And just what does that look like now? Because now I notice we're back to kind of two groups. We have the rookie and all the people that are with him. And then we have the other guys who are not present, right? Did they leave? Um, oh, no, they must not have because Buck came back. So maybe they're they're waiting kind of off site or whatever it is. But it's it's all coming together. I like it. I'm really enjoying ODST. Um, it took it, it has some had some some turns there in this last level in particular it changed it up on me and it was not really what I, the direction i thought it was going to go but i'm i'm perfectly happy with it it makes sense um i have some questions but i'm not confused i think i'm following along with what's going on so at least it, it's explaining it well um and it's not like implausible or anything i'm not i'm not in disbelief or lost on the plot as far as like you know, I just, I do, I do have some questions. I do wonder a little bit about, like, why it ended up being the way that it is. Why not just say that that was the mission to begin with? Um, but I guess, yeah, as like, as a, as a twist in a way, it's kind of interesting. I, I guess I would call it that. Um, I don't know. That's all I got for this part, guys. Just some of my thoughts on that. Let me know what you guys think. We got to be coming up to the end of this. This is part four, I think, so... Uh, Halo 5, or Halo 3 was only five parts. I expect this is probably going to end in the next part. Maybe two. I'm not sure exactly, but we'll leave it at that. That's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching.